Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's your priestess journey divine coming to you on this beautiful blessed Friday. We're gonna light some sage, cleanse our area, remove all toxicity, instill peace, harmony, and purity. Ashe. How you doing out there today, beloved? I hope you were doing well. It is 5.16 p.m. here on the East Coast. The sun is still shining, but soon to set on the weekend. For those of you who are off on the weekend, anticipating some fun time, some pleasure, some rest and relaxation. For those of you hustling and bustling, making that money, gathering your coins, <laughs> it's still coming to the end of the work week for many. And we are grateful that we've made it through another work week and that we can rest and retreat, get together with those we love. Spend time with family and friends, party a little, let our hair down, enjoy the pleasures of life. I am coming to you with the ancestor reading, as the ancestors have been high on my mind and in my vibration, especially in the last couple of weeks. They have given me assignments to bring their messages to you. Words of wisdom, clarity, confirmation, and hope for the future. As well as warnings that we need to know about. Things we need to watch out for. Watch out for. If you're here, this message is okay. I'm getting a lot of energy. Oh, okay, all right, there is some very heavy energy around, very heavy energy, or well, the ancestors are very anxious to get this word out. Okay, ancestors, I am here. What say you to my collective? To my tribe family here on YouTube. To my like-minded individuals seeking elevation. Seeking harmony and peace. Seeking love. Okay, my dog is barking aggressively. So let's see what's going on in the energy today. How y'all doing, collectives? Leave me a comment. Has the energy been heavy around you today? Are you feeling anxious? Full of anxiety? What? Okay, I never had this much difficulty shuffling this deck as I am right now, but we're going to see why there is so much tension in the air, and we're going to take those three and begin there and see where we go from there, or where we're being taken from there. We have the first card out is the wise one. Grow within your current situation. What is the current situation that we need to grow in? Is someone experiencing some challenges, some struggles? 
maybe in a current relationship, a past relationship, maybe on the job. Let's see what the ancestors want to say. Knuckle down. Be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insight from your elders. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking. Commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Be committed to your tasks and projects. It can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. Possibly with all the daily challenges of juggling so much, we go to work, we take care of our children, we take care of our family, the bills. There isn't much time for our own needs, especially now if you're stepping into your purpose. Now you have a new agenda, new things, new assignments. Pouring in on top of the load you may already feel you are carrying. You may not know how to get organized. Juggling back and forth. Putting your spiritual growth and your purpose on the back burner. But the ancestors are telling you it needs to be in your foreground. You can no longer wait to step into your purpose. To find alignment and balance. To get organized. Prioritize yourself and where you are going. Because soon things of the old will fall away. And God wants you to make room and space to receive the new. Figure out what you no longer need to engage in. To engage with. And let it go. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself with shame and guilt because you're not able to put in the energy and the time that you would like to now that you're embarked on this awakening. It's time to prioritize to make your needs climb to the top of that list. People will have to wait. People have to wonder where you are. People will have to understand that you're in a different place in your life and you only have space for the things that are most important on this new journey. Put God first. He will put you first. The next car out is the Sky Father. Trust in the unknown. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with the Great Father. Know that He is lovingly leading you forward. You are a co-creator of your life and every thought, feeling, intention and the emotion that you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what is going to unfold before you. When this card appears, you are being guided to step back and get out of your own way. Because there is a greater power that is not only around you, but within you. And Sky Father is creating the best experience imaginable for you. Accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life. So see things from a higher perspective, like the eagle on this card. This card can also appear when there are opportunities to improve 
the father connection in your life. If your father figure is in heaven, know that his spirit is drawing close. If he is alive and here on earth, there's an opportunity to heal something, whether past or present. That card came out earlier in this week. This is another confirmation that there is a relationship with a male figure in your life. That you are not prioritizing based on past experiences, possibly trauma. Spirit, ancestors and spirit wants you to know that you can elevate above. You can take the high ground. You can be the bigger person. You can show what forgiveness is in your actions. And you can elevate your elder in the elder years. Spirit may be giving you an assignment to heal a wound and break a generational curse. Instead of walking away and letting go, maybe walk back in and show who you really have become. A healer, a leader, a forgiver, a child of the divine. Our last card was Direction Guardian. If you hear my daughter laughing in the background, please excuse the interference. She's on the phone with a friend, and she's living life to the fullest, and laughter is the best medicine, yes? Maybe some of us older individuals can take some pointers from the young people and learn to laugh more, to be present in the moment more. That childlike energy. May we need to get back to playful days and playful times. And not be so serious with life. So on this journey of awakening, sometimes we can get trapped in being too serious. Too stuck in the moment. Too focused. And not be flexible enough to allow ourselves to enjoy life's small pleasures. Direction Guardian, connect with your deepest desires and close the path that will make your heart and soul sing. And choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. Your path isn't set in stone, beloved, and your angels and guides have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong, as they will all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there's a decision to be made, and particularly if you are being, if you are feeling indecisive, choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart. It's time to lighten up, beloved. It's time to let your hair down. It's time to go out and play, to have fun, to laugh, to be a kid again, to enjoy the things you once took for granted when you thought you had all the time in the world. Playing outdoors, playing with your children, your grandchildren, Playfully enjoying your mates. That passionate energy that lights the fire within. That lights up a smile on your face and those around you. The earth angel, the star seed that lights up a room simply by walking in. And being present in the moment. The energy is heavy today. I feel sadness 
and sorrow and depression that someone is holding on to. Feeling alone, left in solitude, many have fallen away. You need new friends, new relationships. You need to attend new events, find new hobbies, and new things of enjoyment because the old no longer fulfills you. We can get back to things like coloring books, reading erotica, love stories, board games with the children, with the family, hopscotch, hula hoop, red light, green light, <laughs> relay races, and jacks, dice, card games, with some of now in the near horizon, there's so much that can be done outdoors. Museums, libraries, nature walks. Going to the beach, sitting amongst the stars, moonlight walks, long drives with your loved one, your bay, vacations, traveling alone. Connecting with the earth again. Enjoying fresh fruits and vegetables at our farmer's market. Going to a place where you can exchange clothes or things in your house you no longer need. Sip and paints. Brunches with mimosa. There's so many things in life that we forget to enjoy when we get older, when we get caught up in paying the bills, life challenges and struggles, we just want to take a nap and stay indoors, be in peace. But Spirit is saying you will thrive and you will manifest more if you share yourself with others and allow people to understand that you took time away, but you have not forgotten who they are. Love and be loved it is a season of love, a season of awakening, a season of enlightenment, a season of strength, a season of growth and harvesting. Rebirth yourself to be exactly who you want to be and not who you think you are. The ancestors have spoken. At this time, while I pull a charm for you, beloved, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, come back for more. I'm available. All my information is in the box below. Check out my cards I've created. My coloring books, if you'd like a coloring book, I do for adults and for children. My erotica, I write. My journal, if you need to keep track of your emotions to find out where you are and where you're going. My Amazon wish list, if you'd like to donate. No donation is too small. All is appreciated on this channel. Your love, your comments, your subscriptions are appreciated. But what charm do we have today? What say you ancestors? Wow. It's a heart. Time to get back to love. Time to open your heart up again to love. Time to trust that love is now a place where you will be safe. And equally yoked. You have survived. You have learned much about yourself. And the outside world. You can let the boundaries. Guide you. The healthy boundaries. Guide you. But break down those walls. No one can climb over. To get to find you. 
You have to be able to come through. Come through the door. Offer yourself up. If love is what you're looking for, love is on deck. And love is nearby. Reach for it. You pray for it. You've manifested it. And now it's here. You have to be willing to take it in. With no expectations of the outcome. And no restrictions of how it should show up. How it should look. You know that you are loved. And you will receive exactly what you are as within, so without. As above, so below. You reap what you sow. Open your heart up, the ancestors say. Your guides, your angels, your ancestors, they love you. They are protecting you. They are watching over you. And they will usher in someone that won't hurt you. Will not steal from you. Will not cheat on you. Will not deceive you. Will not leave you. What will give to you equally will be loyal and respectful and honor you. And treasure you. I'm being pampered for you. Someone is looking for you, collective. You may know who this person is and you may not. But someone is looking for you. You are on someone's mind heavy. I can feel it. They want to communicate. But maybe you're coming off as a little hard. A little hard to reach, hard to communicate. A little cold. A little too protected, too cautious. Get out of your own way. It's time to stop being alone. Stop feeling lonely. Stop feeling depressed. Stop feeling as if you lost something. You've gained yourself. There's no gift more richer than that. In all the world. Now be the gift to someone else. I wish you all the love, peace, and prosperity that your heart and hands can hold. I wish you a juicy, passionate, steamy, hot, playful love that will make you forget all those negative, toxic relationships of the past. Continue to heal. But the best way to heal is to love. Until we meet again, beloved. I shake you, my friend. I shake.